Let me begin with the basic topic, time period. It is the duration of time of one cycle in a repeating event. So, in a varying sinusoid, the time duration of its one complete cycle is its time period. Now, what is frequency? Frequency is the number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit of time. It is the number of cycles per unit of time. Thereby, from the definition, we conclude frequency is inverse of time period, that is, f equal to 1 by t. The time period and frequency is well defined for a periodic signal. Now, if you take a random signal, does it have a time period? No. The time period cannot be defined for a random signal as it doesn't have any repeating event. Whereas, it has a frequency range like our audio signals are non-periodic but still we have a frequency range. Joseph Fourier, a French mathematician, had discovered a powerful theory which made the world to deal in frequency domain. He states that any signal that may be either periodic or aperiodic can be expressed in terms of simple sine and cosine of different frequencies. Fourier series Fourier series is a part of Fourier theory and states that any periodic signal can be decomposed into sine and cosine whose frequency is the integer multiple of fundamental frequency. If x of t is a periodic signal, it can be expressed as sum of constant amplitude, cosine and sines. Now, we try to represent a square wave in terms of sine. We take sinusoids of different frequencies and different amplitude. When we combine these signals together, we get an approximate square wave. When we increase the number of harmonics, the signal is more of approximated to the square wave. In general, the Fourier series is given by the expression and the coefficients are derived by using integration. The coefficient gives the amplitude of harmonic signal at a particular frequency. The Fourier series is also given in complex exponential where the signal x of t is expressed in complex sinusoids. Here, Cn represents the amplitude of nth harmonic signal. Take a square wave x of t of frequency omega naught. It is expressed in exponential Fourier series as and the magnitude of the harmonics Cn is derived from its formula and as a magnitude of 2 by pi n for odd number of the frequency spectrum. It is the graphical display of the harmonic content of the signal. Here, 2cn is the magnitude of the harmonics and it is plotted against the frequency. As the frequency increases, the harmonic amplitude decreases for a square wave. In time domain, the square wave has a frequency of omega naught. When we go to the frequency spectrum, it is described with different harmonic frequencies. So, by applying Fourier series, we plot the frequency spectra of the signal where it is expressed in terms of harmonic frequency. Here we are transforming a time domain signal to frequency domain using Fourier series. Need What is the need of frequency domain? The basic need of frequency domain is in system modeling. The response of a system will depend on its frequency domain of the driven signal rather than the time domain or fundamental frequency of the signal. Here, the filter is driven by a square wave of frequency fc and let us assume it has a cutoff frequency of fc. In this case, both the signal frequency and cutoff frequency are same. Now, can we see the same square wave or the output of the filter? The answer would be no, because the square wave have harmonics of different frequencies like fc, 3fc, 5fc and few more. When the system cutoff frequency is fc, it allows only the first harmonic and the response is a sinusoid of frequency fc. If you change the system cutoff frequency to 3fc and 5fc, it allows even the further harmonics and the response is the sum of those harmonics. So, we conclude, in any system design, the bandwidth is chosen such that it, it should satisfy the frequency range of the applied signal so that the signal is restored with without any distortion.